In this upcoming expansion for Sid Meier's Civilization VI, the stakes are higher than ever. Inspire the loyalty of your people as you lead them into a golden age and hold fast when confronted with dark ages. In Civilization VI Rise and Fall, you become a leader for the ages. Your choices have consequences and decisions made in one era will carry through to the next. Successful leadership can send you into a prosperous golden age, but falling behind may usher in a dark age. With every era transition, you will make a dedication, a choice of which direction your empire will go in the next era. Will your people focus on expanding your military or pious worship? Earning a high era score will usher in a golden age of prosperity for your people. The citizens rejoice in your empire and the loyalty of your cities and nearby foreign cities will be increased in your favor. Dedications during golden ages also provide you a powerful edge during the era. But dark ages are difficult periods of time for your people as your cities may revolt or declare their independence. But with adversity comes opportunity. Special Dark Age policies could impact your rise to greatness, but also it becomes easier to enter a Golden Age when coming out of a Dark Age. And if you do, you'll enter a Heroic Age, a Golden Age with additional bonuses. Keep your era score high to ensure that you rise into a Golden Age. As you progress through the ages, you will encounter moments of greatness. These contribute to your era score. Maybe you will be the first to clear a barbarian camp close to your borders discover a natural wonder or found a religion. These moments also make up the history of your civilization and you can review them in the timeline at any time. But your civilization is more than a collection of moments. The loyalty of your people is what gives your empire life. As your loyalty rises and falls, you will find yourself facing the trials and tribulations of world leadership and the borders of the map will change. Encourage the loyalty of your citizens to keep your yields high and your borders intact. Allow your loyalty to fall too low and you will be faced with a revolt and may lose your city entirely. A city that leaves an empire becomes its own entity as a free city. These cities desire their independence but may be brought into an empire that raises their loyalty. Will it be yours? Governors are invaluable to impacting the loyalty in your empire, but they also bend the rules of gameplay in other areas of the game. There are seven governors and each has their own unique abilities and promotions. For example, Liang the Surveyor lets a city create unique tile improvements that cannot be unlocked elsewhere. But don't expect to unlock every governor and promotion in a single game. These opportunities are limited, primarily unlocked in the civics tree. Will you recruit new governors for each city or increase the power of another by giving them a promotion? Diplomatic alliances have also changed in Rise and Fall. The longer an alliance lasts, the greater the benefits granted. For example, a level 1 research alliance grants science bonuses to trade routes between the two allies. Occasionally, civilizations must band together out of necessity. Certain actions like conquering a city-state or launching a nuclear attack can prompt emergencies. When this happens, non-allies of the offending nation are prompted to join into an emergency, a temporary way to band together in a time of crisis. When an emergency is declared, participating civilizations receive a goal they need to accomplish within a certain time limit and a bonus to help their efforts. Rewards are given to all participating members of the Alliance if the goal is complete or the nation on the other side if it is not. Civilization VI Rise and Fall also adds new leaders and civilizations to the mix. The terrifying warmonger Genghis Khan returns to civilization with superior cavalry units to defeat his foes. New to the series are the Cree, a North American First Nation led by a Poundmaker, who receive considerable bonuses from trade routes. The longest running monarch in Dutch history, Queen Wilhelmina, also makes an appearance with trade routes that can boost her city's loyalty. New natural and world wonders are featured in Rise and Fall as well, like the Matterhorn, Eye of the Sahara, St. Basil's Cathedral, and the Statue of Liberty, each with its own gameplay uses. 
In addition to civilization-specific unique units, the tech tree has been filled out with some additional global units throughout the different eras of the game. These include drones, the supply convoy, spec ops, and the pike and shot. With Sid Meier's Civilization VI Rise and Fall, the path to victory is more dramatic than ever before. If you rise into a golden age, rivals can challenge you and pressure you to fall. But even if you fall into a dark age, you can rally into a heroic age and come out on top. How will your empire be remembered in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Rise and Fall?